Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In our previous video, we have discussed Cells Analysis 2. And here we will be discussing Cells Analysis 3. Here also, we are having two tables. The first table is the product table and the second table is the sales table. So product table has three column, product ID, product name and unit price. Where the product ID is the primary key of this particular table. And the sales table has multiple column. In fact, it has six column and it does not have any primary key. It means that we can have repeated rows for this particular table. So we need to supply distinct whenever required in our SQL query. And what we need to find out? We need to write an SQL query that reports the product that were only sold in spring of 2019 means uh, the date should be in between 2019 01 01 and 2019 03 and 31 right so so what will be our first approach and what will what let's look at the output what we need so in our output table we need product id and product name cool so uh, as in for the output we need product id and product name but we need to write the where clause on sale date right so we need to combine these two table and we we will be focusing on three column product id product name and sale date right let's try to uh, do our first step the, what is our first step our first step is to create one combined table And we will be focusing on three things product ID, three column, product name, and sell date from product I'm sorry. as p and we can definitely do inner join here cool on sales table and we will alias it as s on what will be the joining column can it will be product id cool perfect and what we need to find we need to find all those product id and the product name means the, uh, the all those products that were sold only in the spring of 2019 cool let's filter this result let's reformat it little bit from combined table what will be our where clause where sale date is greater than equal to this right because we only want to find all those product that was only sold in the spring right and sale date is less than this cool but let's suppose if some product was sold in this particular date from first of January to the 31st of March then that particular product might also be so sold to some other date which might not be which might not be the spring of 2019 right so we need to write one more filter condition that is product ID not in 
and let's just copy this only let's reformat it little bit we don't need product name and here it should be less than this and instead of and we will be of supplying or right simple de morgan law cool and we might have some duplicate value in the distinct so after the combining we might get some duplicate value so let's supply the distinct part let's reformat little bit and let's just run it let's just submit it cool so let's we have solved this problem perfectly fine not a problem but do we need any temporary table here actually uh, for making it more readable i've tried and i've tried to break down the solution we but here we actually don't need the temporary table we can definitely do something like that so we can simply have this statement and instead of doing these things we can simply have the where clause right i think this is also the same nothing changes uh, for the, our first approach for making it our solution more simpler i was just breaking it into multiple parts but this solution and the previous solution is the same right let's just try to run it we don't need okay cell date in our end result and and we don't need this combined table okay and we can have cells right let's go to descriptions we do have product id in the sales table itself okay so here sell date and let's just do this s dot sell date s dot sell date right select product id from sales i think we are good to go okay uh just one minute this this is ambiguous right so we will have p dot product id not in cool let's just submit it okay there is something wrong let's look to our code once product id this okay we need the distinct part right distinct is cool p dot product id product name from product table then we have joined with the sales on the product id and uh, the joining column is product actually this is fine where sell date should be equal to this and this and p dot product id not in this this yeah i think we should do this looks fine cool so we are able to solve this problem so so whenever you are you are given some sql query to write try to break it down try to break it break it down try to create temporary table try to have sub query and once that is done once you are able to solve it try to optimize it so that's the way of approaching any sql problem okay i hope you are able to learn from it if you have liked this video and learned something from it please like this video and subscribe my channel and please hit the bell icon for for the update Thank you.